Um, ladies and gentlemen, when I identify in the domain and range of a graph, and I wanted to kind of pick something that was a little bit simplistic for you. So remember that the domain is the set of all x values, correct? Well, as you look at this graph, you can see the end behaviors. This graph is falling to the left, and it's falling down and to the left. So this graph is going to continually expand to the left. So therefore, the domain, when I'm, saying, when I'm saying find all of the values that make up the function, or all of the x values, well, if this graph is going to continue going to the left, it's going to go all the way to negative infinity. So it's going to go all the way to negative infinity. You can see this is a continuous graph, right? There's no breaks or anything of the graph. So therefore, the end behavior on the other side, or the right end behavior, is going up and to the right. And the graph is going to continue going to the right, and it's never going to stop. So therefore, the domain is all the all the x values to, le to negative infinity to positive infinity. And it covers every single x value. Do you guys see at all those values, there's a coordinate point on my graph? Do you guys see that? For every single x value that I can think of, there's a point. And as this graph keeps on extending, expanding, I'm always going to have values. So the range is a set of all y values. Basically, I'm looking up and down. Well, again, looking at the end behavior, this graph is going to continue going down. So the range is going to be from negative infinity as far as all the way up, which would be positive infinity. Right? Okay. So 